Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation square root of 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x plus square root of 2 minus square root of 3 whole power x equals to 4. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. Let me go ahead and call this equation as our equation number 1. So before we solve this equation 1, we are going to go over a few things. Let's focus on these uh, radicands, 2 plus square root of 3 and this uh, 2 minus uh, square root of 3. And here I have copied them down. Let's go ahead and multiply them. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b times a minus b is same as a square minus b square. Let's go ahead and apply over here. So this is going to give us uh, 2 square minus square root of 3 whole square. And 2 square is 4 and minus this is going to give us 3. So that is going to give us uh, 1. So therefore we conclude that 2 plus square root of 3 times 2 minus square root of 3 equals to 1. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 2. And now let me go ahead and take the square root on both sides of this equation. I'm going to take a square root on the right hand side as well. And here I can split them up. I can write a square root of 2 plus square root of 3 and times square root of 2 minus square root of 3 equals to square root of 1 is 1. Now let me go ahead and divide both sides of this equation by square root of 2 plus square root of 3 on this side and likewise I'm going to divide this side by 2 plus square root of 3 and here we can see that this and this cancels out so we ended up with the square root of 2 minus square root of 3 equals to 1 divided by square root of 2 plus square root of 3. Now I am going to replace this square root of 2 plus square root of 3 by this part 1 divided by 2 plus square root of 3. So therefore our this equation 1 is going to become let me just go ahead and write down square root of 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x plus I am going to replace this by this one. So I'm going to write down 1 divided by square root of 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x equals to 4. And this uh, equation could also be written as uh, square root of 2 plus uh, square root of 3 whole power x plus and this next part could be written as 1 divided by square root of 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x equals to 4. And now we can see that this part and this one they are same. To make our job easier let me go ahead and call them u. So therefore let's go ahead and make a substitution. Let me go ahead and call u equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x. Now this equation could be written as u plus 1 divided by u equals to Four. Now let's go ahead and uh, remove this fraction. So I'm going to multiply across the board by u. So we are going to have u square plus uh, this u and u cancelled out. We got 1 equals to 4 times u. Now let's go ahead and move this uh, for u on the left hand side. Now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using the 
quadratic formula and here's our quadratic formula that we are going to use and here our our coefficients a equals to 1 b equals to negative 4 and c equals to 1 and now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic formula so we got uh, u equals to minus uh, and then b is negative 4 plus r minus uh, b square in our case is a negative 4 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 1 everything is divided by 2 times 1 and now if we simplify we ended up with u equals to 4 plus or minus square root of 12 divided by 2 and now let's focus on this uh, square root of 12 and here I have copied it down and square root of 12 could be written as 4 times 3 isn't it and now if we break it down we can write a square root of 4 times square root of 3 square root of 4 is same as 2 so this is same as writing 2 times square root of 3 so therefore our this equation could be written as u equals to 4 plus r minus I'm going to replace this square root of 12 by this 2 times square root of 3 and here I'm going to split 2 on both fractions. Therefore we ended up with u equals to 4 divided by 2 is same as 2 plus r minus this 2 and 2 is gone we got a square root of 3. Now let's go ahead and split these two signs. So therefore we're going to have a two values of u. u equals to 2 plus square root of 3. The other value of u is going to be 2 minus square root of 3. And now let's go ahead and consider this case 1 when our u value is 2 plus square root of 3. We know that our u equals to square root of 2 plus square root of 3 power x. So let's go ahead and compare these two equations. So we are going to get square root of 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x equals to this one 2 plus square root of 3. Let me go ahead and manipulate this right hand side. This could be written as if I take a square root and take the square at the same time it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Now we can see our bases on both sides. They are same so we can equate their exponents. So therefore our x value turns out to be equal to 2 and that is one of our solutions and here's our case 2 when our uh, u value is 2 minus uh, square root of 3 but then u equals to square root of 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x let's go ahead and compare these two equations so we got uh, square root of 2 plus uh, square root of 3 whole power x equals to 2 minus square root of 3 and now we are going to manipulate this right hand side and now let's focus on this equation 2 let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 plus square root of 3 and let's divide this side by 2 plus square root of 3 this and this is gone so we ended up on the left hand side 2 minus square root of 3 equals to 1 divided by 2 plus square root of 3. So therefore this 2 minus square root of 3 I'm going to replace it by this one 1 plus 2 square root of 3. Therefore our this equation is going to become square root of 2 plus square root of 3 whole power x equals to 1 divided by 2 plus 
square root of 3 and now let's focus in this right hand side fraction and here I have copied it down and this denominator part this could be written as power 1 if I move this one on the top this could be written as 2 plus square root of 3 whole power negative 1 and now let's focus on this part 2 plus square root of 3 this could be written as 2 plus square root of 3 whole square and I'm going to take the square as well it doesn't make any difference and then we got this power negative 1 and now let's recall this power rule according to this rule we can multiply out these two nested exponents so therefore this could be written as square root of 2 plus square root of 3 whole power negative 2. Now I'm going to replace this right hand side by this form. Therefore our equation is going to look like 2 plus square root of 3 and then whole square root whole power x equals to on the right hand side square root of 2 plus square root of 3 whole power negative 2 and now we can see the bases on both sides are the same so we can equate our exponents as well so therefore our x value turns out to be negative 2 our solutions turn out to be x equal to 2 and x equal to negative 2 Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.